Hey everybody, it's Rock and Bite. Gonna be recording episode 75 with patch 3.6 just coming out. I had just picked up this Guan Yu skin. This is gonna be my, I believe, my first opportunity today to actually play with it. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, I'm really excited. I wanted to do an arena, but I figured you know might as well get a clash through here because I personally like clash a little bit more just because you know I like clash. But uh, if you look at this skin, oh, look at that. It's just beautiful. Beautiful skin. Finally, Guan gets a skin. My favorite part is if you look at the um, the little icons around the icons, but the visual under him, like the preview of the ability, his heal actually has a different visual. It actually it looks really sweet. Plus, when you fire the heal, I'll show you guys a little bit more whenever we get in there. But when you fire the heal itself, it has a little extra flare at the end where normally that happens during the heal. I'm not sure whether or not that's a bug, but uh, I think it's really nice. Let's see, let's see what the team's going to be. We're going to have an Anubis. It's just all assumed because they could re-roll at any time. Not re-roll, but re-pick at any time. We got a Goobus, a Loki, a Nox, and a Robin. Team's looking pretty sweet right now. I don't think any change at all would have messed with it. Now for the enemy team. We'll see them shortly. So, combos. We got think combos we got. We got Nox just to be CC all over the place. There's a lot of Guans today. Uh, from what I've seen, I did have a chance to play non-Guan games. And it's actually, it's been so sweet to see so many Guan players. I'm not seeing anyone with more worshippers or, or wins or anything, but it's bringing out a lot of the rank 10 guans. Uh, I do know of two guans who have higher worshipper counts to me, one of them being uh, like about double, and the other one just being like uh, about 5, 600, 700 more worshippers than me. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see what they got. They got Tyr, Freya, Jing Jingwei, the new character, Agni, and Ateno. So all in all, it's going to be a pretty fun match, I think. It's going to be irritating with all the attack speed, you know, through... The Freya with her attack speed, she'll shred you down. The Hunter, of course, being the Hunter. Then they got Athena for the Taunt. They got Tyr for their Bruiser and Agni for the Long Range uh, Artillery Mage. Now, if I recall, Agni got a buff, but I don't think it's anything significant. At least nothing that would uh, threaten me in particular. His abilities will do the same as they did. It's just, um, that was right, his attack speed. They boosted up his attack speed, which let him stack his passive more. Check that Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at that extra swing visuals right here on the on the blade. It's really nice. They did a good job with it. I'm gonna throw this on quick cast because I looked at it on PTS. I figured might as well show it here a little bit. Uh, we will be grabbing sprint because sprint is the shit. Alright, let's get a point and everything so we can look at it. So this is on quick cast. Okay, come on, load in. I gotta get somewhere this dark. The ground's too bright for you guys to see. Alright, look at that. They had a little effect if you can't see it. It's like a cogwheel effect. It looks really nice. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. It's just the ghost, the ghosting on the two, like the visual there, is just with the uh, model for this skin, which is cool, but it's nothing like significant in terms of visual change. All right, so it looks like we're doing the backs and the blue. That's not a big deal to me. I'll go ahead and do it. It's a safe start. Let's see what everyone's built. We got beads. Robin forgot to pick up something. Is going for, I guess, Devo gloves or Soul Eater. Bit of a weird choice, but if you can get away with it, I have no problems with it. I trust him well enough to do his job. Uh, oh, we already see what the enemy's built. Nice. So, throwing dagger. Surprise. You have Freya going for that. Athena's going that route. Okay. Starts to look pretty sweet. Let's go and use that heal. There's the extra pop at the end. I didn't see the little circle visual. Hopefully it was not removed <laughs> from PTS to now. I want to rotate over, but uh, the farm's already gone. Yeah, well. So I've been thinking that since the skin came out, I should just do... Uh, you know, it's like a three-day thing worth of wand videos. I don't know if I'm gonna actually do that or not because there's some other stuff that came out. I really wanted the Pandemonium Odin skin as well, but seeing as that's like in you know, a 56 item chest, that's a no-go. That skin is is pretty much dead to me now. Never gonna have. It. I'm trying to get froggy. Yay! Good thing I bought some extra potions with me. Usually I only bring one. Usually nowadays I only bring one health potion with me. But uh, it's whatever. Oh, there it is. There's the circle. It looks so sweet. They did a really good job on this. The horse looks about the same. You know, it's just a new model. Uh, what I really, really like, though, is just those, those swing lanes on his weapon. They're different. So it looks really, really good. I'm going to keep healing them. A little 50 heal. I'd like to get somebody killed, but I don't quite have horse yet. Once I get horse, if I can get on Freya, everything will be alright. So it's Ateno, 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 Ateno. It's making me look a little bit... A little bit spooked by it because taunt, you know, taunt is a very vicious thing to contend with. So we have an Anubis in this lane, so our clear is really good. I think I might want to swap lanes, but I don't want to leave him alone. If I can swap lanes, I won't have to worry about. Oh, nice, good rap, bro. 
That's some good damage. Uh, unfortunately, it's gonna hurt our clear a little bit. Oh, it, someone just blinking. Oh, teleport and blood forge. All right. Guess if he wants to do that, that's fine. That's something I would do, but I don't play Robin. I just don't agree with what it, that it is. But he'll probably pull it off, no problem. Yes, 30 yard dash, take that! <laughs> so it's uh, just 5 yards longer than Guan's dash, Guan's dash being a 30 yard dash. At least for the damage, it, his body moves a little bit shorter than that. Ow! Doesn't that hurt? Get another heal out here. Thankfully I got my extra damage taken because it was in the form of minion damage coming through dots. Alright, we got stuff going on over here. Nobis picked up a kill, happy with that. Tana walk down. I'm going to heal up for Loki here. 50 health is a significant portion for Loki since he has such a low health pool. So that should actually be pretty good. Just give him another bit of health there. Plus it heals me. Now if I could have got Nux in on that, then we would have hit the real value of the Guan heal. Because you want to get as many people and as many minions in there as you possibly can. For the ultimate value. So I, I, don't, know if it's, I don't know if I showed it off particularly well, but... Uh, Guan Yu's face on this. I'd really like to draw that on a, you know, probably on Gimp and just have it as an icon. Kill this little minion here and back up because I can't really do it myself. Not with them looking there. But yeah, as I was saying, I'd really like to draw it, but I just don't know if I have the artistic skill to do that. It'd be a nice thing to have over here somewhere. Uh, over to the right, you guys know where the icon is. Uh, I want to kill them, but a Tano. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Boom. Just got blowed up. Freya beats. Nice, he got the beats. So, I wonder how throwing dagger or golden bow, whichever one she has currently, is throwing dagger. I wonder how that works with her too, which is already AO, AOE. I didn't really look into her too much on the PTS. I was just too much, to, uh, pretty much just completely dumped down about the Guan skins. Is that cool? I couldn't get him to, I got him to dash, rather. Just saying, uh, I couldn't get him in a position where he would be super threatened. I'm gonna need it back here. I'm, gonna, I'm getting a lot of money and I'm running low on mana. Completely out of mana potions. Oh, come on. We can't get into engagement every time I leave. I'm gonna go ahead and stay here. Nice job, Loki. Nice job, guys. Done well. Oh, hi. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's do his woohoo. Just screams. <laughs> Now I'm pretty sure he has another scream somewhere in his voice pack. I just can't find it. And I, I swear I saw it on I heard it on PTS somewhere. Hmm. Well then. Uh, let's see what the tears got. Yeah, he's not gonna be doing any damage at all, but he's gonna be tanky and annoying. He'll be he'll probably he'll be able to mess up the Nox storm because if Nox doesn't get the silence out, he'll uh, he'll be annoying to her. And he'll uh, probably keep her busy. Alright, so I'm going for Breastplate next. I'm not really going to go with the damage route because we do have quite a bit of damage now. Especially uh, uh, since Robin's going like a damage oriented route, we really need me to be able to uh, jump in there and absorb some damage for the teammates. You might have noticed I moved Genji's guard here and Mystical Mill up the damage. Because Mystical Mill is really it's just a damage item for you. And Genji's guard, I mean, I've got to test it a little bit. It's pretty sweet. That passive, it's like essentially just. It's like your heal or your dash. It's just two seconds off, and that is that's insane too. I mean, it's got a cooldown on it. It's got like 30 second cooldown, but I think you're constantly taking damage, especially if you're magical like this, where they have AOE and ranged. There we go. I'm gonna get another point. In my heal. Like this I use my sprint, so we should be all right for the most part. Get Loki a little heal. Thankfully, that heal actually saved his life, that right to his escape. So that was really, really good that he actually had his ultimate up to be able to get out. So I doubt you guys can hear it over like all the background noise and stuff. I did adjust my volume, I lowered it from 100% to 35. Because I noticed that my volume for a smite was a little bit loud. If I'm incorrect, you guys let me know. I will I'll also check after this video, whenever I look at my um, file that I've recorded, just to check. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to find. I'm still trying to find a good balance between my voice, my commentary, and the uh, game volume. Now I can still hear, hear audio cues, so I'll know when Athena's charging up or, or dash to go for the taunt. Uh, you know, all the stuff of the like, like Freya doing stuff, Agni doing his all with the scream. Oh, there's footsteps, so they're so good. I love when they have good sounds for footsteps in games. This gonna be real quiet. See if you guys hear it. 
Okay, I'm never mind. I'm just gonna. I'm going for yes, the damage. Yeah, he's really tanky. He's not, as I said, he's not gonna do much damage, but he's gonna be tanky, so he's able to take that damage. Just no real big deal. Oh yeah, something else that I can just bring out here for you guys. I'm actually getting a new keyboard. You might notice that I'm moving around a little awkwardly. Awkwardly, this keyboard is really messing up. It's shorting out, and the keys are just getting completely stuck, and they're like snapped underneath. And I'm just got this jerry rig right now to actually work. But I'm getting a nice keyboard. It's gonna be um. It has extra keys on it, so I'll be able to bind things to have more convenient binds, so you, you'll probably see these key binds change, or not, I don't know, we'll see. Just see how it feels, but uh, in video, I'm gonna get on Thursday, but uh, on videos that you'll see after that, you'll probably, my, my gameplay quality will probably go down a little bit, because I'm gonna be learning a new keyboard, but it'll come right back up, and then very likely it'll go up higher than it is now, because I'll have access to those extra bindings for, you know, quick stuff. Yeah, it's her beads. I'll take that. Got a dash away from that taunt. Wrap around the corner. Fortunately, she got the kill. And he got the kill. Nice job. Alright, let's just shred this. Get him a heal. Okay, she, that's weird that she's not actually going to shoot even a little bit. She's just going to run away. So that's good for us. It's really bizarre. It doesn't really slow her down at all to shoot. As long as she doesn't shoot all of them. So I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, you can't fear list me, bro. I'm not from you. Yeah, there's no point in me really trying to damage him, though. He does have, uh... He got a mill. That's a lot of health. Go ahead and heal my ally here. Nice 160 heal. Uh, retreat, I guess? I was hoping the retreat would be something special. Like how, uh, Slaughterhouse Chuck's like, Run, fools! <laughs> Alright, up next, I'd really like to get Genji's, but... It is a bit of an awkward item to build, as you can see there. It's cooldown, which is sweet. It's magical prize. A lot of it is awesome. MP5, that's great for Guan and it's cooldown. I always say Guan is mana and cooldown, but uh, you can't really get that right now. Look, there's no health. So I need to find some health somewhere. Now, the item I'm going to be picking up is Hide of the Urchin, simply because the item is absolutely still amazing. It's more mana, which is awesome. And it's health as well. That's the most important part. It's 250. That's about on par with every health item you get. And it's also just an ass ton of protections at the start and then a massive amount at the end. Being, I believe, the highest, at least the highest uh, protection to health ratio. Uh, you can probably quote me on that. It's, I, I don't think of any item that would be. Oh yeah, this Goobus has got his stuff together. I'm just going to follow up with him, keep him safe. Oh, nice. Nice, that was beautiful. There we go, Ogni. Mean. This cooldown, heal that Loki. Ah, uh, that knock up. Can I go over it again? Oh, you can go over it multiple times. It's cool. So I was reading on Reddit that up. Uh, there you go, my friend. Yeah, take the damage. Nice job. Where's the U Rock? What's it sound like? You have outdone yourself. I like that. Get back on your feet. Instead of I will not let you fall. He says multiple things in this in this one. So I think that's also a really nice touch. Uh. Also, his loading in animation is different. He'll like do a backflip in and catch the weapon or something. The only problem with it, and this is just a little little gripe thing, it's nothing big, is his base skin the animation is now sped up massively. You'll think, oh, what's the big deal with that? Well, I still have that problem with OBS where my uh, sound will get delayed, and that's how I used to test it. I actually used the Guan things. I know the intro so well, but now it's so sped up, I don't have the sound trigger for that. Now I'm gonna have to go ahead and learn that. But uh, for now, if, if you, a few videos slip through with sound delays, like I do the thing that fixes it even without knowing if it's sound delayed or not, but uh, if, they, if they end up like that, that's my deepest apology for that. I really try not to have a video sound be delayed because it is awkward. But if it does, you know, just know I'm trying to find a way around it. Uh, sound cue so I can do the test for it. There we go. Alright, so I see... He's not able to heal. So let's see if it works. We doesn't work in the slightest. I'm gonna dash through him, I'm just making him think he can get me. Because it's always fun to taunt people with Guan. It's the eternal struggle between Guan and Tyr, though. Where I'm not immune, and apparently... Well, I don't know, he might have a taunt for Guan, I don't know. Just that, he can't really get me. There's, there's no, no real way he could. So you'd have to go after my teammates. Now, if I uh, foolishly play a rounder, if he catches me after, like, use my abilities and stuff, then he can get me, but at that point, he's really just sort of wasting his time. 
if you know my team, if the team's there and it's a team fight, he's, like if I were, for instance, over here to like Talos assault those, dash to that. But if I were to Talos assault that and then go after that, that would be a bad idea. Dash out of that. That dash looked like it went further than normal. Oh, there's a uh, Jingwei. She's come flying in. Okay, so they are behind us. That is a terrible lot by me, but I got beads, so I'll take that as a win. I'm just gonna need to run immediately away. Thankfully, I dodged that taunt. Uh, thankfully, and you know, thanks to my teammates who actually body blocked her. I saw the Robin body blocking, so thank you so much, Robin. I'm gonna go ahead and toss you. Even though you're backing, because uh, you know, the stat pad. How else was I supposed to get that healer diamond achievement? You owe more than one million health. Had that forever, but uh, I'm sure maybe one day they'll add something higher, and that'll be sweet. So you guys already know what other act up I'm gonna go for. It's gonna be shell. The shell is just that amazing. Up next, I'm gonna pick up a Jotun's. Now, once again, I really, really badly want to get the Yenji's guard, but I, it's all these items that you need more, you need them more than Yenji's guard. Uh, it's all right to overcap with that ten percent CDR there because the passive is, you know, it's cooldown in and of itself, and MP5 is a lot is worth it too. That'd be like four mana a second. I said it's tier alt. What do you got, your alt Loki? You do. Get off him, you bully! I'm gonna go and ward this. I get, she thinks she's got shins now. Yeah, just a typical hunter build. Just stack a ton of attack speed, get the and get the dagger, and you'll be fine just to kill just about anybody, regardless of protection level. <laughs> Isn't it smite silly these days? Whoa! Saw that coming. Oh, I just noticed that glows red as opposed to like uh, I think glows white on the base skin. Ah! Uh, no! Shell for my friends. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Go this, my friend. Oh, that's her ult. Okay. I have not actually. I don't think I've actually seen that one at all. I'm in a bad position now. Ooh. Ooh, spooky. Spooky. I'm running low mana too. Let's see if I can do for Loki. Oh god. Leave Loki alone. Stay away from Loki. Nice job, Loki. He did a really good job getting out of that. The Loki's always slithering away with no health. I'll throw her a heal so she can defend left lane. I have to back. Man, not even close, Loki, you tell him. Not even close. Why am I hovering on this? I need my, uh, need my goats. We're also going to be picking up a sentry ward here because uh, that's going to wear off soon, and I'm assuming that at some point they are going to buy a ward to counter my ward. You know, I probably seem like a scumbag just being in a. Like a casual queue mode and just you know warding everything all the time, but uh, you know it's worth it to do it everywhere all the time, except for arena. Just practice it everywhere. I guess maybe assault too if you're that kind of person who plays it. I've seen assault mains and they get very very serious with assault. I personally couldn't do it because uh, I don't get to play very much Guan there. If I can't play Guan, then what fun can I possibly have? You know Guan combo and stuff. A lot of time I usually just end up as a hunter. Thankfully I managed to work it around where Guan is my most played there, and then I'm like, okay, we got Guan the most played, we lucked out, time to abandon ship. Yeah, I'm using a sprint to get us over there as fast as possible. Oh, my heal wasn't enough. I was hoping it would be, but uh, if I leveled it, it probably would have been. But it, as of right now, it's only a little bit. Here you go, guys. Heals for my allies. Okay, we got Jingwei split pushing. Surprise once again. Hunter be split pushing again. Oh, and Freya. Oh, okay. We. Oh. I was gonna dash to it, but I think Nux for the thought. Thought counts, because it's a silence. What is he trying to. I think I got him a heal. Yeah, I think this tower is pretty well gone. Fortunately, my ult is down too. Shredding the Freya. Freya's in the, in the air doing the ultimate. I'm trying to get cooldown, get him a heal. Unfortunately, I was not able to finish that up. I'll keep him safe rather than say finish it up. I'm not actually killing anybody. All right, now I'm not sure how far can she land. Okay, she's over there now. No, I'm not immune, but your dash is up again. Uh, I recall it's like a 20 second cooldown, so you know at least she has to decide to use it. Ow. 
Help. Well, I survived. I survived. Now, I'm a little concerned if she backs, she could fly over here, but would it be worth it for her to fly over here and kill Bond? Unlikely. Now, our Loki did get the tower, so that's completely worth, in my opinion, that is completely worth, above worth. I just wanted to see how I get this pretty. I'm not actually getting cold on there. That's just the really, the ability is actually really cool looking. Like, it looked cool before, and now it looks even cooler. So I'm full cooldown, so I'm going to get Genji's Guard next, naturally. Uh, building defense against magical seems to be far more effective, just because there is naturally less things doing that, and they also, you know, have their cooldowns. I'm going to ward that and walk away. She's probably going to come over here and try and take blue from me, because that's what Freya's do. Yeah, there we go. No, I forgot you can't leash these. Okay, she backed up. I'm going to try and get this blue. No particular reason, aside from the fact I will run out of mana. The cooldown is completely dead and worthless to me. Alright, okay, he's in trouble. I don't think I'm going to get there anywhere close to in time. Good job on him getting out. Oh, no, they're coming after him. No, I can't reach him. Hi, Ateno. Loki's here. Earl is down. Well, that was annoying. I haven't quite learned how to play around her yet because I haven't had any opportunity to fight her. So, you know, there is that. Oh, for my heal will come up. Even with shell. Basic attack and super. What is what is super? What is that? Is that her is that her two? Is that what her two's called? Super basic? I don't know, it's just new stuff. New stuff. I don't like hunters, but uh I don't have anything personally against that hunter. That had an opportunity to get enough data to pass judgment. Yes, it'll be beautiful. MP5 for days. Yeah, we don't need another word at the moment. Oh, there's a long respawn, unfortunately. The Athena reached in 35. Let's see what the builds are right now while we have the opportunity. Okay, so tier is going slightly cool down, which is that's fine. You know, protection's cool down. That's tier. Frey is going attack speed. Jingwei is going attack speed because there's literally just no counterplay to attack speed at the moment. You would say mid guardian, but that's simply not enough. Uh, if we had shield and we're back, that would help a great deal. Enfeebling would help too. But this is just the cards we're dealt. Yeah, I think they have something here. I don't know how they've seen it. Oh, right, minions probably. <laughs> ow! Ow, ow, ow. And I healed it. Uh oh. Uh oh, there's a Taino. Trying to force Sogni out of there for all possible. Uh, I think I did manage to actually force out. Ah. I'm taking the shots for you, bro. Get yourself out of here. Nox, you're okay? Yes, good. So a clean getaway for all of us. I'm only a little bit concerned about Anubis if they want to go for him, but it doesn't look like they're going to. I can get a word for it. Yes, I will do so. I'll get a sentry for uh, the fire, and then I'll just put this little bitch ward there. So, this will be my first actual test with this item. It says it, I know it did say it didn't actually do it if you don't have any cooldowns, but uh, I'll generally have a lot of cooldowns and I'm taking a lot of magical damage. And at least not a lot, but you know, I'm getting hit by multiple sources. Good. Oh, goodness. That was a crit. What if we had an item that was... no. Crit's not really necessarily the problem now. Don't mind me, I'm rambling again. Rambling again. Yeah. Fortunately, he was just too slow to move. Hi. Ain't gonna get me. So I'm going you. I could just fly away like that. <laughs> I almost died instantly, though, even with all these protections. My biggest... Oh, I'm surrender. Please don't do this, guys. Not again. There's every match after the end of surrender. There's clearly a good opportunity for us to come back. Alright, up next, I'm gonna be picking up... Picking up some physical prop. Could be a Midgarian. I need something. I just, I don't know, maybe some health. We're in a situation where those items aren't really doing much. Protections really just are not 
outperforming. Mag magical prod is, but physical prod's really not doing anything for me. And then if I get health, I get shins for it. It's just, it's a rough spot right now to try and build tanky. A little bit of a rough spot. Damage build has not really been the answer this time either. Is anyone okay? Loki split pushing, well done. You've done well and outdone yourself at the same time. It's beautiful. Well, there goes her. Tried to stun her before she can do that, but then the beads, you know. Give her a best shot. Give him those, try and protect and give one a heal. Okay. Oh no. We are just getting cleaved down. If I can get away too. Thankfully it's Agni Dash. I don't see any real way of killing it. Yeah, the biggest problem right now is being cleaved. The shell is a good counter act to that, but I use that to try and help the Anubis mitigate a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't know why I'm trying to go over there and help Loki. He should be absolutely fine. I could stay here, so whatever. I'll have to get taunted though. That's one of his bombs down, one of three. Okay, I can't be zoned right here because I need to get over here and watch for Jingwei to take the tower. Ah, totally dash shot. Well, that's pretty well gone. There's nothing I can do about that. Mm. Just doing so much damage to tower, but what I'm just always doing it. Are you trying to flip around the back at me, bro? Uh, yeah, I tried. Look at that death animation, though. Pop, this falls over. Like he sees out and falls over. Yeah, you know, more physical prod. But physical prods don't matter for a damn anymore. Don't really matter for a damn. Still gonna buy him though, because you sort of have to. It works against minions and towers, but uh, with uh, see how much pin she's got. She's got that 15, and then soon she's a titan's man. Oh, yeah, she does. She does have titan's man. So look at someone else. She's got 15, then she got titan's bane, so anything I get is pretty much irrelevant. Right now, I'm just gonna be relying on the in hand uh, slowing and the movement slow of my guardian male. Now she does get movement hit penalty. I know that much, but. Uh, you know, that's just hunters in general. I'm not like, um, you know, saying all oh, this new god fucking talk bad about it. Just hunters in general. Yeah, they happens to be the only example of a hunter in the match right now. It's pretty much at that point where uh, if you don't have a hunter, you don't really have a chance of winning. Wow, they almost killed me again. Well, we gave it a shot, guys. All in all, I'm actually pretty happy with the match there. It's just inherent problems with Smite, in my opinion, in general. Which is just the fact that there's little counterplay to attack speed currently. Alright guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you stuck in there through that, uh, the new Guan skin's awesome. Look forward to seeing more of that in the future, because uh, I'm going to be playing a ton of it. Let's see, I did a really good amount of damage for Guan, and I had a lot of healing, and was GG. YouTube.com slash Thanks for watching so much, guys. Goodbye.